An equation like this can look slightly more intimidating because of the decimals, but it's really not much harder to solve than a regular old uh, two-step equation. One technique I would suggest when you're doing this is to clear uh, the decimals. And in this case, we can do so by multiplying everything by 10. Remember in algebra that you can multiply both sides of the equation by anything you want so long as you do the same to both sides and keep it balanced. So in this case, look what happens when I multiply everything by 10. I'm going to essentially get rid of all my decimals. 10 times 2.5 is 25, so I get 25x times, uh, neg the, times the minus 0 0.2 is going to be a minus 2, and times the 10.8 is going to be 108. In my decimals, I treat it like a regular two-step equation. I'm going to add 2 to both sides, and that gives me 25x, those cancel, is equal to 110. If I divide both sides by 25, I see that my answer is 110 divided by 25. So let's think. 25 goes into 110 four times. 4 times 25 makes 100. And then we have 10 left over out of 25. 4 and 10 25ths. 10 25ths can be simplified to 2 fifths, so it's 4 and 2 fifths. But really, since the original uh, equation contained decimals, it would be good to write this in its uh, decimal equivalent. So that would be 4.4. Two-fifths is equal to four-tenths, which is going to give us 0.4. So our final answer, x is equal to 4.4. Remember, the key technique here was multiplying everything by 10 at the beginning. That just got rid of the decimals and gave us one less thing to worry about as we brought this problem to its conclusion. Thank you.